Hello everyone. So here we are back at Infinifactory. Again, it's been a while. Let's just dive straight in, I think. Optical sensor array type 4. We have a failure log. Well, floored again. That's 19 bodies so far. Quite a few more than usual. The overlords must have abducted a lot of people this time around. I've seen more dead humans in the past two weeks than in the last ten years. I listened to their recorders, but they didn't say much. Most died of starvation or dehydration. This one got a snag in her suit lost her air. Bad way to go. When this all started, we were put in groups of two or three. That didn't work out too well, though. There was lots of talk about revolt or escape, like we were soldiers or something. There were uh, two of them, Mary and Bill, who were just so antsy. They disappeared on one job. Uh, wonder if they're still out there somewhere. <laughs> I, uh, I just didn't see the point. Disobey and they just throw you into space. Whoosh! Right out of the ship. Anyway, it wasn't long till we were all separated. Never saw those rebels again, or uh, much anyone else. Okay. So, the key... Actually, I probably want to move this section back. And do the merging sooner. So the key thing, first of all, is going to be to get three things in a row. Which this should give me. So one, two, three. Good. Having done that, I then need to split this in. Ooh. Huh. Yeah, okay. Let's turn the input rate up and see what that ends up doing, first of all. Yeah, that is no use. So let's turn it down a little. Okay, I can probably turn it up another one. So one below maximum. Okay. So the key thing now is going to be... When a... Uh, Block crosses that, I need to have pushers on there and there. I don't need those blocks under there, do I? Okay. Let's just see if that works as intended. No, it does not because of the rate. See the thing here is tell you what. Oh, no. 
let's do that and then try again because that should oh baby perfect that's exactly what I wanted it to do so with that done that's gonna move the thing along here And then let's bring it through the middle of that. And the reason I want it in the middle is so that when I rotate it, I can grab the end. Well, so that it's got room to rotate properly, I guess is what I'm saying. So. No. Uh, let's do that. And I can also take out some of these. Will that work? One, two, three, no, it'll fall in the gap. So I don't think I'm reducing it more than that, but that's fine. Um, I mean, I could probably pull this whole thing back one, but that's a pain to move at this point. So then the other thing is, I'm going to have these two lines here. Bringing in... the individual pieces. No. No. You. Across here. This is going to have to be in the air, because it's going to come over the top. And let's make it run over the top of this, because that's better for the foot footprint. Uh, the problem there is going to be... Yeah, this is going to have to come around a bit. And then I need the downward welders there. Oh. Uh. Uh. That. Let's just see how that behaves. Okay, okay, that's a start. So then, let's just take that out for a minute. Perfect. Right. With that now in place, all I have to do is get it to pass through there, which I can do by putting conveyors there, and then if I have the last bit to arrive is this one, right? So, once that one arrives, I can have it push off there, and I'll push the whole thing 
Ah, uh, then that'll fuse... The piss... Or will it? No, it won't, because there isn't a two. I think that should be fine. Um... So then the time to look for is the point at which... And I just need to read this off a useful spot. Such as there. That'll do. So sensor goes there. And just wire it up. And I can take that out. Not that it really makes a difference to anything. That should do it. I think. I can probably take that out as well. Actually, no, I can't do it. I'm pushed all the way on if I do that. Okay, let's try that. I think that should work. Come in. Do that. Perfect. Oh, brilliant. That is beautiful. And still those things aren't showing up. I'm pretty happy with that solution. That was good. Okay, next level. Oh, this one. Okay. Will! These two sure are interesting. Let's see, uh, no suits? That's strange. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I've seen this species before a long, long time ago. Maybe one or two years after I was abducted. The overlords used them as miners before they had the machines. After that, though, one of the overlords started running them against each other in teams, and it turned into a sort of gladiatorial blood sport, mining and murder. As one of my rewards, I got to watch a match. It was a brutal sight, but I can see the appeal. I guess you become desensitized somewhat. Okay, let's just see how that behaves first of all. So we get block, block. Uh, you. Actually, I can leave that as a normal block because it'll get pushed by the ones coming through. Okay. So then what will happen if I take this, put a sensor over here somewhere, let's just stick it there for now, push her there, that's not going to work because that's going to be in the way. Uh, let's move the pusher back, two, three, there, oh, nope, thank you, okay that would need to be a lot later. Possibly once it comes through there, even. I mean, if I time it from when it comes through there, will that work? Uh, is there a damage sensor? There is. Let's put that there.
Let's just see how that behaves. Okay, when did that go? That goes there. Which is not helpful. What happens if I speed this up? Oh, hello. Uh, where does that go? Okay, that's there. That is more like it. That is behaving how I want it to. So I guess put this back. And you. Uh, no. Uh, 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 uh. I mean that that is going to fall down, right? No, that's attached to that structure. That's fine then. Yeah. Um. I thought that would happen. Let's see if that works. Uh, not if I do it like that, it won't. No? Hmm. Let's see what that does. I'll be interested to see how that works. I wonder. Interesting, that's not enough to... You, you would think, wouldn't you, that it would... with two pulling on it, Interesting. Oh! Ah, yes, I can do it like that. If I do that... Then it's going to pull across there, but that one's only going to go onto there. There we go, that works. Okay. So having separated out... One... Oh no, one of them's got to be four long. Uh, so I guess I might need a complete redesign here. I'm going to think about this for a little bit. I've got an idea. Let's work on it. So what I've got this doing is letting it build up 10 blocks in a row. And then as soon as all 10 are in, these sets of pushers push the threes out here and here, and they go through that, and the four gets pushed out here, and they all get welded as they're pushed out. So if we run it, you'll see that it works perfectly. There's the four, and there's one three, and the other three. Now that's perfect because that's all the pieces I need, so all that's left now is to run this out, split it, position the two either side, spin this and drop it on top. Uh, that's going to come in that end first, so I'm probably better off doing it that way. I can also take some of these out. Uh, uh, nope, you. Actually, if I just drag that down to the ground. Uh, 
then it won't affect the footprint. So let's just check that. Perfect. Now this, how to split it. Uh, make it pause on there and have a pusher there and when one gets pushed off the edge so that comes through, that stops there, that does that that one gets pushed off the edge and will trigger that. Oh. You. Uh, Nope, not there. There. Nope, one more. Perfect, that splits it. So then... We can take this out this way and this way and spin it twice. So actually I might do that the other way just to keep it out of the way. Um, so that's going to spin to there and there. Is that going to work? Nope, that's one out of range. Also, am I getting these the right way around? So that one is the one that needs to be on this side. So actually, I'll be better off spinning that one round. So it's going to fall down there, and it's going to spin by this end, which is fine, which will put the other end of it there, and then let's drag it over here and over here, and let's just check that that goes in the right place. It does, good. And let's just put a stopping block there. So then this one is going to come down here. And just go See where that ends up. Does that go in the right place? No, that's not there, 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 there. There. Perfect. So then the final step, that can go, this can go back the other way, at which point it will be grabbed by you, pushed off there. Uh, probably higher than that. And then drop it
Te? Except it's going to need to be delayed. Easiest way to delay something is just to hold it with a pusher. Uh, I don't need that block. Although, hmm. Well, no, the easiest way to delay something is to send it on a wild goose chase, which is horribly inefficient, but you know. I just want to get this one solved for now, and I'll worry about efficiency later. Uh, that won't work as it stands. do that. That's pretty good. I can probably shorten that slightly. That is excellent. So then all that's left now is to weld the pieces together and push them on their way, which I can do with that, because as soon as that drops into place, It can be pushed off and just grab by one of those, which is fine. Oop. So at this point, I just need to work out how to position the welders. Uh, huh. This is going to be tricky. I mean, this end is easy, because I can just do that, and I'll weld those together, but this side is also easy, as long as I move this entire conveyor up by one. So it goes over the top. Should do it. That should do it. No. Hang on, that drops. Let's just check where that drops, because that's probably done something. Yeah, okay, I'll just pull that back by one then. Although, can I... There is room, isn't there? I could drop that in, and that should work. I think. Can I... No, you can't build inside that area. Uh, right, let's move the whole thing back a bit then. So...
there and there. Let's check that still functions. That still functions, so then all I have to do is move this back. Oops. And that. And then you. And you. I think that'll work. Brilliant! Brilliant! Perfect, excellent, magnificent, nailed it, aced it, can not be stopped! Holy crap, that's inefficient, but I love it. I mean, in terms of the rate at which they're going into the target box, I think that's pretty good. Anyway, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like, share, favourite and comment, help support the channel, follow me on Twitter to stay up to date what's going on, and subscribe if you want to see more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>